Yeah, so what, what kind of consequences it says? One is that life will continue beyond death. Another... I think he's saying some will depart from the possibility of survivors and others will ensure. And then he says, in this sense emerges a moral, an adage... Every time I try to make it small, it... Oh yeah, don't... Larger. I wouldn't do that, because it will... Something okay. about an attitude towards life and to the world position, postures which can be called mystical, animated by a strong religious sentiment aimed at transcendence, even if the idea or belief about of a god is not defined in this context. So in this different position, I think he's what he's trying to say is, you know, if you're in the belong to the Catholic Church, they tell you that don't worry, you're going to go to heaven. Any Christian that I'm Yes. Mm -hmm. You're gonna to go to heaven and it's it's this strong religious sentiment that pushes you along towards the meaning. So you might not have had your own experience of it, but you have faith in the church and the church is almost sort of taking care of it for you I always think it certainly creates a strong you just have to presence. believe you well, know this belief, is you must believe mechanism. yeah and but it's it is rather mechanical but yes it is mechanical it's, you're told that you should believe that uh, like my friend always wants me to accept Jesus as my personal sin yeah right <laughs> because he thinks that's the only way mm -hmm. he, I'm he's going to survive go to heaven death. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, yeah. he's absolutely mm -hmm. beside himself that because I won't, mm -hmm. you know. He should mm -hmm. just be satisfied within himself that he, this has happened with him. Yes, but it. But so yeah, not, and not the way and you know what he said, not which not was so interesting. I don't want to be lonely impulse. and by myself. Oh, and, right. Oh, where so, he's going. Yeah. yeah. So he fears loneliness in his transcendence, you know. Yeah. And uh, huh. that's an in that's interesting. And he really, lo I mean, he believe. tells me he loves me a lot, and he doesn't want to not have the chance of being with me there. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So it's it's kind of he wants to nice in a way, yeah. but it comes with a lot of pressure. <laughs> right, exactly. Huh. And then again, it's that duality. You know, he wants some people to go, but he doesn't necessarily care if everybody makes it. You know, so it's yeah. kind or of and, like. And this. there's some he definitely doesn't want there. And there's some he doesn't <laughs> want to make it. So, you know, that's a very strange concept of transcendence, really. Yeah. You know, when, when you feel that one thing has to oppose the other. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> oh, that's, that's and weird. also beware of people that propose transcendence out of fear you know because yeah. many religions have used fear in order to kind of try to incite faith in people but that's also the mm -hmm. wrong mm -hmm. it's the wrong mm -hmm. direction mm -hmm. it's also you know. a very controlling mechanism as we've mm -hmm. seen through yeah. history fear. we talked about that earlier about fear being the basis of the need to control okay. things. I think I'll it back now. Okay. Secunda. All right. Secunda postura. So, um, hmm. okay. And the second position, as we said, is not based on transferable inner experiences, but in a larger theoretical framework that explains is a driving abreaction that cathartically occurs under certain experimental conditions, as in the case of the Great Passage. I think this is Great not trying. This is when you said you. What was that you described the hyperwarp? Oh, oh right. Warp. Uh, warp speed. 
hyperdrive. Yeah, <laughs> that is like the great passage, you know, oh. that's a strong, you feel like you're taking off or something. Yeah. That's like, I always equate that with the great passage of the force, because mm -hmm. it shocks your system. Yeah. And you can't transmit that to anybody. Mm. That's what was happening, I think, to that guy in Mikibuda. Mm -hmm. He was getting that, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. he believed Maureen mm -hmm. was transmitting it to him right. to the point mm -hmm. where he wouldn't let go of that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. What was happening? It was after service, and uh -huh. you know, we hugged people, and just right. And so you know, we hugged for quite a time, and then I started to like release the hug, and he just kind of pulled me closer, and he, and he just kept on holding me. And so finally he let go and he was just like, oh my God, I've never felt that. It's like right here was, he, then, well, first he said, was that you? Was that you? I said, no, 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 it was you. It was you. Yeah. No, 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 it was you. It was you. I said, no, 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 it was you. And I put my hand on his chest. It, it's you. It's you. It's you. And I said, oh, I never felt that before at all. And he mm -hmm. just like really didn't want to leave me. <laughs> and then he jumped around and he was like telling all his friends, whoa, whoa, you have to go <laughs> hug her, yeah, go hug her, go hug her, go hug her. Go get her. <sighs> so, it's very, very strong. Oh. It, and this what is, did you feel? Uh, Let me go? <laughs> no, no, I was, I was feeling very peaceful. I was filled with peace and warm joy. I mean, really, <laughs> that was the, it, went, it wasn't do. It wasn't oh, like, just, I mean, it felt like he was having that just, really surge. Yes, where I was just feeling very, very If peaceful. you got it up, it, there yeah. it goes. That's good. And so I had to download Dropbox, and I did in Safari, yeah, can't yeah. open it. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. That's what I thought was. Yeah. Can happen. I can email it you, so. but from my computer. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I will email it to you later. Well, okay. I think, I think we can get to, through this. Mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. And this is what he's saying, exactly what you're saying there, I think. Um, it's been able to free people without them having knowledge of its mechanics. Right. That's what happened to him, right? Right. Attributing its manifestations to entities whose existence cannot be proven. Mm -hmm. The phenomena is supported, but not the interpretation that this position qualifies as being unprovable in the case of mystical interpretation. Well, at one time he referred to me as like a witch. You must be a witch, you know. <laughs> this guy said that, yeah. I mean, in, in well, a, that in used to play, happen to people, play, I think. Yes, but yeah. in a very yeah. playful yeah. manner because it was, you couldn't describe it. And it's like it had to come from someplace else because it was so strong. It was so strong. Yeah. What's the Spanish word? Bruja? Bruja, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> um, yes, Hungarian. Mm. Just don't try to make it bigger. Just. <laughs> I know, I've been trying to just keep it lit, and then every time I touch it, it mm. jumps. And then he says, the phenomena is supported, but not the interpretation, that this position qualifies as being unprovable in the case of mystical interpretations. It is not the manifestation of the soul of the ancient, but the space of representation is set to the sum of kinesthetic impulses and doubles as representing the perception of the body. Well, that's what you were telling him, Maureen, right? It's... He mentions the ancients. Re re read that again? It's not the manifestation of the soul of the ancient. Soul of the ancient. Unless the ancient is... It's not being translated correctly. Yes, yeah, right, right there where you finger it. Just above that. En caso de... It's right here, right around here. The okay, approximation so. or distancing from the zone of the, the zone of the space. Yeah. With the light. And no, that talks about in the case of proving the existence of the paranormal phenomena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. It says. Uh, If proven the existence of the paranormal, it will not be doubled in projection, but mystical phenomena of perception, action at a distance, 
produced by variations in time and space, meaning the space of representation. Hmm. Yeah. The interior light, in turn, accompanies mental objects deployed in the higher spaces of representation, and darkness corresponds to the low representation of spaces. This is due to at least three factors. One, the proximate or remote space area that matches the duplication of the centers of eyesight, a memory f phenomena associated with, with the light on top and dark below. That's number two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, is it sensory overload? Yeah, Which overload when, of uh, fixed contents. Fixed contents. Contents, Which, yeah. when released by transferential process, they redirect psychic energy in the direction of the higher spaces mm -hmm. next to the eye centers, producing a mechanical phenomena of light and numerous concomitances of psychological re readjustment. Mm -hmm. That's when you get blown open in a transference, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something happens. <laughs> Something like that. All the cobwebs yeah. blow out. <laughs> yeah. Practical implications <laughs> of this position. The theory of operation that allows dealing with characteristics on the issues we have touched is all much broader and provides a fairly complete picture in the knowledge and practice of mental processes. Such a theory necessarily leads to questions about the meaning of life from the point of view of the everyday usability. This is the part I found interesting. This position can possibly conceive of a transcendent, transcendent orientation of life, not from the point of view of faith, hmm. but of its usefulness to balance and develop the psychic life in general. Mm. That I find mm -hmm. very interesting, mm -hmm. you know. Read that last part again. The this position can possibly conceive of a transcendental orientation of life, not from the point of view of faith. Mm -hmm. You're not doing it because you have right. faith in it, but of its usefulness. Oh, yes. Right. The usefulness. Yeah, in. to the balance and development of a psychic life in general. Mm -hmm. It's much more useful for mm -hmm. us for to her. be working in mm -hmm. this ambit of transcendental meaning in life and working to un reveal the meaning yeah. okay. because it just is good for our psychic life mm -hmm. in general. I mean, as opposed to you were describing your husband, right? <laughs> He's like a Whoops. great example of, <laughs> <laughs> of this person. Can I please erase that. Of this person you know. Of this person, you'll have to edit that. So, <laughs> yeah. so, so. No, that's okay. No, but we all know people like that, you know, yeah. where they, their psychic life is definitely not balanced. Right. It's, it's in the dumpster. The, the two positions that we have considered, so there's the one of faith and the one of experience, mm -hmm. can be also be derived from the study of the inner look and also in the works in the Book of Self-Liberation, something like that, right? There was um, a letter that Dario wrote to Negro when mm -hmm. Negro was still alive, mm -hmm. with questions about the inner, the <laughs> Philo's message, mm -hmm. and one of them, um, in one of them, mm -hmm. Dario said, "Well, doesn't it seem like the true utility of of working with the force is that um, not working with the force, but of Philo's message in general?" Mm -hmm. <clears throat> was to give that internal stability. Do you remember that? That um, those, It was like a page and a half of three questions that Dario sent Negro and Negro's responses. It's, yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, of course. I can barely was, remember. Yeah. Right. But it was towards the end of mm -hmm. Negro's life. Mm -hmm. It had to have been 
after the message was written and I, yeah. I would say it was probably 08. Mm -hmm. yeah. It wasn't the end of everything. It wasn't that terrible long ago. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the, I'll, I'll dig it up. Okay. But it touches on this too. Uh -huh. that's, yes. the th that's why it came yes. up for me. The thing is, have we had that experience? It's like, you know, when I was younger and, you know, I was taught to have faith and to believe in, you know, yes. all the teachings. And it was, you know, I think that was a very different register register as opposed to when I have these experiences with the person. Right. Yes. Go right. through this process. I mean, it's a very different register. And the register for me is one of liberation and feeling clear and lighter as opposed to trying to grasp this sensation of I have to have faith. I must, yes. No, if I, I don't, to, I have to. But it's like if I don't, I'm going to hell, or the I devil really, will get me, or something. Yeah. I really don't. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure. It's yeah. like, oh, yeah. but I have, you know. And, and again, it's like, right? It's that fear base. I'm going to go to hell. Oh my god! But the thing is, like, doing this work and having this experience mm -hmm. is very, very. So then you talk about the sensation. Isn't the sensation of unity, you could say, mm -hmm. isn't that sensation stronger than having faith? Yes. yes. Of course. Yes. It is. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Because um, isn't that what he's talking about? He I is. think when you have yeah. the sensation of unity, there's a certainty. Mm -hmm. Where with yeah. faith, it can, it can be kind of a pendulum between certainty it's very, and it's perhaps variable. it's variable. Right, exactly. Or even it's a more profound, it's a kind of a deeper sensation that isn't so accessible. Mm -hmm. Not as unity can be accessible almost in now. Yeah, yeah. Right. But while, while we're here, we can access internal unity. Right. right. We can even, yeah, we can remember. Right now. Oh, yeah. I was really you Remember that to talk about the different types of faith? Sure, the different levels of faith. Well, that's yeah. coming next. That's coming. He, he talks about yeah. that next, which I think is interesting about yeah. this material. Yeah. And then he says, um, <laughs> Arriving at this point of ambiguity, it is legitimate for someone to ask, but finally, what is the position of the author of this book? Mm -hmm. The author can then declare bluntly, says bluntly here, I don't <laughs> know if that's... Mm -hmm. That's okay. He, is he personally attaches to the mythical position. Mm -hmm. Is that what it says? Mythica. Yeah, it says mythical, not mystical. Mythical. But, but as this position is non-transferable, so he's talking about mm -hmm. that second one, suitable to the explanations to the language of psychological theory, mm. thence leaving open the door to transcendence. Is that what it says mm -hmm, there? Mm -hmm. So it's there. So if you have faith or some other reason and experience fully, however they come to the conclusion that transcendence is useful because it gives meaning to life, opening a future that death finally closes in the absurd. Mm -hmm. This issue, however, requires further development that we will postpone until tomorrow, commenti commenting on note four of the Book of the Community. Mm -hmm. That's what you were referring to. That's it. That's the full kind of development, development of that. Of that chapter. Right. I think some of that appeared in the inner religion. You, you know. When he's talking about the double and the soul and all uh -huh, that, uh -huh. is in that that book that came out. What is from the Danny? Yes. Yeah. and it's in mm -hmm. the body, the double, and the spirit. Mm -hmm. Remember well, that? Yes, yes, yes. You yes. have it in there. there that there was a recent. Remember the recent material that came out on the, the, those questions that were asked and then answered. The, these two guys were formulating. Well. Remember? Do you remember that material that just recently came out? And the two were, guys that had discussion the with discussion, Negro. Was it? Well, it. No, it was one. 
One well, guy, Eduardo. Eduardo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, he he and compiled them all. Oh, that was yes. No, that's Andres yeah. Charisma. Yeah, Andreas Charisma. Yeah, mm -hmm. he he came out with a long thing called the body, the spirit, and the double. Oh. Remember a compendium of everything that had to do with those three themes okay. that Negro had written. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was like 30 pages long wow. or more. Wow. And I'll send it to you. You didn't know? You didn't get it? Mm -mm, I didn't get that one. Not it's from, some, from a couple of years ago. I got Andres. his uh, art. I got his work on compassion, but not that one. Uh -huh. But okay. then this, this other one that I'm talking about, is it? No, it's like maybe Four it's or five pages or something. Lately. Like yeah, a, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. question. A question. I think it was Eduardo. Well, I, I know it yeah, wasn't Andreas. Have, no, I think mm -hmm. it was Eduardo. Mm -hmm. And he gives this beautiful explanation about the double and mm -hmm. the spirit and really clears some stuff up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also the big one on the chapter of non, on non-meaning mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. he he interprets it, mm -hmm. and it was a beautiful interpretation, one that I had never seen before. Seen me so mm -hmm. before, or even was able to before comprehend on that, that mm -hmm. chapter, mm -hmm. because it's always stumped me. That yeah, that yeah, the sensentido. Yeah, right. Yeah, the not meaning. Well, that's really interesting, Ken. Yeah. It is pretty interesting. Yeah. That. Do you think? Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I just feel we're in the right moment with it, you know. We're working with it in the way we're supposed to be working. That's what I feel these days. Mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. just about everybody I talk to yeah. is working in... Well, I think of it like this. The ones that got really serious about the disciplines yeah. and yeah. continued with the assessment, <laughs> they're in what I call around steps nine and ten. Mm -hmm. They're hovering around there, mm -hmm. trying to work their assessments, configure it, you know, more or less permanently. Then there's who knows where everybody yeah. else is, I don't know, you know. Well, some of us are closer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we're maybe. not, maybe steps 9 to 10, but maybe we're... No, but I mean, we're in that zone, yeah. we're not I think like... I think it's more well, the zone or the, the intention. Yes. Yeah, I was yes. going to say the mental direction. The mental direction or the, the mental direction, which, yeah. which yeah. seems to be, for me, that's everything, the mental direction, it's like... Yeah. You know, where yeah, is your intention saying. going? Yeah. He's and saying that the evolutionary direction is what counts. Yeah. And you so. know, it's, it's interesting too that they... Casey, you may be off screen if you, unless you sit down. Uh, my sciatic is acting oh, and I okay. can't sit right now. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Ah. Mm -hmm. no, you you're still on camera. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm still here. Yeah. Even if it is my belly button, I'm still there. No, your head is <laughs> on camera. <laughs> so, it's like discoveries, too. Things that we discover on this road or this path, you know? Of personal evolution. I think it's interesting because even though sometimes you can't translate to others, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. as you Most know, times I kind you of can't. can't. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I think that doesn't really matter. I think that it's it's sort of intuitive that everyone has this the, the ability to make these discoveries, mm -hmm. and that it's there. Mm -hmm. It's just do you want to or not? <laughs> right. And often it it's again it's the mental direction because yeah. you put yourself in the condition mm -hmm. for things to happen. It's like you can't force meaning, you can't force, you know, experiences, kind of transcendental experiences. You can only try to set up the condition where things might occur. Right. Just like 
with synchronicity, things that happen, which I call occurrences. Mm -hmm. You know, you mm -hmm. don't set those up, but if you, mm -hmm. you know, if you're in the right mental frequency, things mm -hmm. begin to occur. Mm -hmm. Well, is that intimation of meaning that he writes about in the, one of the chapters? I think it's your interpretation, but I believe it is. I mean, I believe occurrences happen to you. Sure. Mm -hmm. And um, and it's like some kind of indicator because you're already in the, the mental frequency. Um, and so they're, they're like signs. I'm, this is subjective, of course, but they're signs that you're going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. right. And, um, and they're just kind of too improbable to happen accidentally. Right. That, for me, is an occurrence. You know, it's something that, that um, has a lot of concomitments. You're thinking about something, and something appears in the landscape that seems to be m more than just accidental mm -hmm. or... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for me, those those can be intimations of the meaning. Yeah. And I know in my own personal experience, if I'm working daily with a lot of intensity, mm -hmm. those things to ha tend to happen a lot more than yes. if if I'm just mechanical. You know, yeah. if I, because you're kind of you're launching internal questions into the. Mm -hmm. For example, I had this very strange thing happen. I was in Uganda recently and I remembered this poem and the poem says what's what's in your temple what's in the holy of holies mm -hmm. you know what's in there mm -hmm. it's a beautiful poem I can't remember the name of the author but but it's about you know where where where's your mental direction and what's really deeply inside of you who am I <laughs> who am I and so I was saying I well sometimes you know, my, my desire for comfort or security is in there stronger than really wanting to know mm -hmm. the meaning, the, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. true meaning. And then I, I was out by, in the patio of this hotel, and I thought, and some people really, they've got in the center of their heart, maybe they've got their religion, mm -hmm. like like rosaries are in the center of their heart, you know? Mm -hmm. And just at that moment, I stepped down and there was on the ground under my foot a rosary beads. Oh, please. Oh, are you Come saying? on. No. I, they were, I, I just went, okay. Please. They were little baby plastic rosaries oh that were bright blue, you know, they weren't anything. But it was, what's the likelihood of that happening? Ooh. You you do that. Quite I, I'll a lot, give so. you one other example. Um, <laughs> that happened in Uganda. That happened, and, but there was one other time where um, I was traveling in India long ago, and uh, my friend Lanesh said, "You know, Janet, if your mind is unnecessarily burdened, 